you shut Put these niggas in the dirt. What is up guys? It's Jake from Team Insanity doing a nice little commentary here for you over some speedball footage. So I know you guys have been looking for footage. So we've been on vacation. Well, okay, so Nick and I have been and because we've been on vacation, Jacob's been not uploading um, and doing his own thing. So um, I'm just going to do a nice long video here for you to, to catch up. This is like this first introduction clip. I know this is like, this isn't a Mac dev or this isn't the, the shocker. There's only one shocker footage, but I just wanted to show you guys. So people who just get into speedball, um, my gun just went down in this. So um, I just wanted to give this little clip to you guys so you had a little thing to look at. So as you see, I'm my gun's down. I'm going to start field stripping it, but I'm um, carrying the call outs as you can hear. So I'm sitting here communicating with Travis. So Travis is telling me call outs where I'm at and then I'm relaying it over to Shane and the rest the other side of the field. So even though I'm not out, even you know, I'm not out yet. So I'm sitting here, I'm trying to get my gun back working. I mean, it's not going to it's it's not working at all. So I'm just trying to do a few basic things, turn the air off, turn it back on, you know, try to pull the trigger. Um, I'm, you know, I'm just trying to mess mess with some things, so um, it just needed to re to be retimed. So, but yeah, that's that's sort of what happened. So, but I stay in. I um I I sort of coach the team. I sit here and I carry callouts. I'm still a live player, and there goes Steve and goes out and finishes out the game. And I told Travis to go run highway, and of course he did. So here's the shocker footage. Okay, so here's some fun here's some fun little footage. Um, of me using, I did buy a shocker if you guys are a little late to the party. So, I break out, and I'm just going to take this nice tall temple, and I'm just going to use it as a, as a big temple to gun, gun from. So you're going to see some nice pods being thrown. I'm communicating, I'm saying, hey, we had a guy die on our team. So I'm communicating so we know how many people that we have alive, and, you know, all that good stuff. Relaying that... You know, we just talk, took out home, that kind of good stuff. So communication is key. So you see me carry that over um, when I have a working gun. And I'm just sitting here listening to the other callouts. I don't have anyone to carry it to on my right side, anyone. But now, um, you know, someone gets into Snake 2. I look over the field and I shout it across the field. I shout it in that direction. So that way my guys know, hey, there's a guy over there in Snake 2. And I carry my voice over to that side of the field. Because it is indoor. It's a little bit harder to hear. So again, communication, it's key. I'm gunfighting. I'm, I'm keeping in this temple right here. Um, I'm just going to use this nice tall temple because it's a nice safe spot. I can lock down the snake side of the field. I don't need to move out of my bunker. If I move out of my bunker, I risk getting shot shot out from the snake. I risk getting shot out from the Dorito side of the field. Um, I'm just trying to keep this guy from shooting me and shooting my other player. But once I know that this guy over here is pinned in for my Dorito guy, now I move over to get the angle and that's when we get him taken out. So as you saw, I stayed in that temple for a long, safe time, and I used that to gun, and I used that to move. And then you saw when all of a sudden it was safe, I used that for a bump. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. So now it's now it's Steve and I. I did not know it was a one-on-one -on -one until all of a sudden I saw my teammate walking off right there, sort of by my lane. So I hate doing one-on-ones in the snake. It's This is a terrible bunker to do one-on-ones from. It's terrible. So don't do one-on-ones in the snake. I tried to get out of here as soon as possible. Right here, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm scanning the field, trying to figure out where they're at. And this is when I'm going to use this entire bunker for, for, my, for my gun battling. See how I go up out of the top and out from the side? Use the entire bunker. But now I'm going to get out of this snake. I'm gonna, I chose the other side of the 50. I delayed, waited for the paint, and that's when I came around. He shot the other side of the temple because I did that little delay and waited for the paint to stop. So... Hugged it out, gave Steve a little good appreciation. So he used to, he did some tournaments with us. Great guy, we play with him every weekend. So again, now I'm playing back player with this gun. There was a lot of front players this day, so I'm just like, fuck it, whatever. I'll, I'll be, I'll stay home. Tilly's, Tilly and I are controlling this. Um, I decided, hey, I normally don't play home too often out of the left side. Normally I patrol snake side, but I'm patrolling this left side. And I'm not used to using this pull, so I'm thinking, hey, if I can like use this pull to my advantage, they can't shoot me, right? 
So I'm sitting here using this pole as like a bunker, but it turns out, um, you know, you definitely can get shot through a pole because I just got shot right through a pole. <laughs> Not really. They sort of sh they sort of shot, and it it's you can't really hide behind that pole. I'm pretty skinny, but I'm not small enough to hide behind that little pole. So I'm sitting here, and you could see me shooting those lanes. I definitely thought I shot that person off off the break, but um must have must have bounced off of them. So I'm being a back player. I'm just using a lot of paint, shooting my lanes, making sure that they don't move up the field so my front guys can get up the field. Communicating, communicating, and communicating some more. Bump out a little bit, trying to start to spread the field a little bit so we can get some angles, listening to Shane, calling his call outs that I'm carrying them over to the other side of the field again. I know where our team is at. I know where their team is at. So communication is key. So we're, we're here to stall the layout. We're, we're here to let them run into our guns. We're bringing a lot of paint to this game. We're just stalling the layout a little bit. We're just kind of going slow, taking it nice and easy. You can see that we have all the back bunkers. You can tell we're not trapped because we can still move in between home. We have a few bunkers in front of us. We still have the snake we can utilize. So we're not necessarily trapped in our bunkers. We have them trapped in their bunkers, which is kind of crucial when you're stalling the layout. And that's that's the game right there. So you saw us. They we did not get trapped. We held down our lanes. We communicated very 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 well, and we held it down. So here this game, watch this. So I'm sitting here shooting snake. I go in and then he takes that snake. If I would have sat there for an extra two seconds, I would have got that. Not even two seconds. If I would have sat there for an extra half a second to you know a second, I would have got him. They went all the way up to the snake fifty off the break, which is the kind of move that I make. So I get here, and once they do that, I'm the only side. I'm the only guy on snake side now. So normally, now what I did is that I got really, really quiet. I'm not shooting lanes. I'm watching where their paint is going. I'm watching. You can see them hitting that back right bunker or my back left corner, my snake corner. They're they're waiting for me to fill out to that spot to patrol snake side, but I'm not. I'm sitting here nice and quiet. I'm not shooting snake. I'm waiting for my shot because I want him to poke out and I want to catch him. I don't. I don't want to. I, that's when I started shooting and I tried to catch him, and then I get hit right on my mask. So, and I had to get out. But I sat there and I was nice and calm. I didn't make a stupid bump um, that I that I wasn't gonna get to alive. This game, I'm a back guy. You have to listen to my callouts. So you can hear me calling to Zach. Um, anytime you're a back, you're a guy in the snake corner. I'm here. I'm in the tall temple, or well, sort of, not really, but I'm here in this nice tall bunker. I'm standing really, really tall. I'm rolling my gun. I'm making sure that they're not going to shoot my snake player. I'm holding that guy into his bunker. I'm just dumping pods. And then the guy at the temple shoots me. I didn't know that there was a guy in the temple because I didn't hear any call outs. No one called it out. I step out for too long and I was, you know, wrapping that bunker. And then I got shot. But then, you know, it bounced, thankfully. So lucky bounce. So I'm sitting here in this tall bunker. As you saw, it's just a tall can. But I'm just using this. I was communicating. I'm backing up. I'm utilizing the entire bunker. And I'm, you know, I was telling him, go, 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 get down the field. Listen to your back guy. You have to listen to your back guy when you get into the snake. And I was just saying, hey, get down that field. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. So that way I'm communicating. He knows when to he knows when to get down the field. And now we're starting to close out the game. Moving up on this guy in the temple. I sit here, hold down that little itty bitty lane. Dorito side came in and held it off. This is the last clip with the clone five. Run up to the 50. This is a really cool clip. First time I've ever done this and probably the last now that the W bunker came out. So I'm looking through. I'm at the 50. I don't see anyone because I noticed they're all shooting down the tape. So I'm like, okay, fuck you guys. I'm going to just go ahead and take that. I got scared because I saw a guy at home. I run down. Home got taken out. Back left got taken out. And back right got taken out. I thought th there was four guys. There was a four on four, four on four. So I'm just like, oh, okay. So I just took out all three of them. I ran down in the center of the 50 when they were all looking inside. Or I mean, not inside, outside down the tape. And I'm just like, cool. And I start walking on the field. I'm just like, oh, shit, there's the fourth guy. I don't blast him. I shoot him once on his hopper. I didn't tear into him. He had no idea. And so DJ and I are exchanging words. He's calling me a dickhead. I'm calling him a dickhead. Fun stuff. So 
Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for the lack of uploads. We're getting back at it. Enjoy this commentary. Try to walk you guys through so the new speedballers and everything sort of know what I was doing. So, yeah. Peace.